Hey, Shalom. I want to start off saying, Kaala Imla, Yahawa, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Racha, Kodash. Which means give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahawa, and the Solomon God's Son, Yahushai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. The Thou Masnah Kabbalah, Lahaz Karim, Sars Allah, which means give our honors to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of Great Midstone, who teach and will wear. And Shalom wa Ahalah Bakhi Yasha Allah, which means peace and love to the leg of Israel. Coming back again, known through the spirit power of Yahweh Shimon Shah, and then listen on the brother Ana from the Jim S. Memphis camp. Man, I'm just just going to spirit, man. This is Rock 41 and 8. It will be unto you, ungodly men, which have forsaken the law of the Messiah. For if ye increase, it should be to your destruction, man. All you wicked ass niggas, man, the Lord gonna kill you niggas, man. All you all the ones that refuse to come back onto him and put away your wickedness. You hey, you are going to die, man. Cause all this generation care about is fucking smoking blunts and getting high, committing adultery, fucking threesomes, orgies and shit. Fucking wickedness, man. A lot of you niggas are going to die, man. Family members, your, your little brothers, brothers, sisters, nephews, cousins. You know, if you have not repented, the Lord going to kill your ass, man. And it's straight like that, man. You know, it's time to repent, man. It's time to, it's time to put, away on, put, um, put away wickedness, man. You know, it's a warn to you, man. Won't mean destruction, death, man. Ungodly man. You know? We know Esau, we know the fucking heathens can't make it. According to the Bible, you got Christianity thinking everybody can be saved. Come as you are. You know? Nah, man. Let me get to Rock 17. So Rock 17 and um, 25. With time, I'm going to start 24. But unto them that repent, he granted them return and comforted those that fell in patience. Return unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. And this is exactly what we've been doing, man. Through the spirit power of Yahweh Bashim Shai and, and Lord willing, we can continue to offend less, man. You know? We can continue to offend less, man. The Passover coming up, man. The time, hey. And I speak on myself first and foremost, man. You know, it's time to um stay diligent, man. Examine ourselves, man. You know, doing the work, man. But uh, until you wicked ass people, man, the Lord gonna kill you, man. I ain't even speaking about the heathens, man, cause we know their judgment. We know no fucking heathens, no Edomite can be saved, man. You know, it says salvation is far from the wicked. And guess what? They include our people, man. Guess in the book of Jeremiah 5 26, uh, found amongst my people wicked men. You know? The Lord is looking for the ones that have repented, man. And only the elect is, is, is repentant. Only the elect is crying out. Let's grab that. Ezekiel 94. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst. Of the city through the midst of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abomination that be done in the midst thereof, man. What is their mark? The mark in the Hebrew is the Wah. The Wah meaning exempt from judgment. You know? Exempt from judgment, man. And that's what we're seeking. We want to have the mark of the Wah, man. You know, Lord will I can have that, man. I want to be exempt from judgment, man. I want to make it, you know. I want to be saved, you know. And guess what? Ain't nobody saved until you're on the chariots, man. Another another joke that Chris, Christianity teaches, that I'm already saved. No, the hell you're not. Because if you were already saved, you would stop yourself from dying. Why, why are you taking the mass scene if you are already saved? Why you got the fucking mask on if you already safe? Ain't nobody safe, man. If you already safe, you don't need the Lord, man. 
You know? It said in five, and to the others, he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Right, kill him. Kill. It said, Let not your eyes spill, neither have ye pity. Slay, slay, utterly old and young, both maids and little children, and women. But, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. And began in my sanctuary, then they began at the ancient man which was before the house, man. So, hey, so the angels, hey, they were giving the order, man. Don't kill the ones that have the mark of the what? But the ones that don't have the mark of the what? The Zenful judgment, kill them. And this is exactly what we're coming into, man. Jacob trouble is not, man. You know? Hey, the second death is, is coming, man. And people don't realize that, man. The second exodus is coming. And people don't realize that, man. Hey, it say cry aloud, spill not. Lift up that voice like a trumpet. Show my people that you ain't listening, man. And that's exactly what we doing, man. Through all uh, spirit power of Yahweh Shemoshai. Stone with the apostles, the elders, man. To the least brothers, man. We telling our people to repent, man. But guess what? They don't want to repent, man. So guess what? They're going to die, man. And so be it, man. They come back in the kingdom in the right mind. You know? So, right. Um, get Luke. 13 to 3. It said, I tell you nay, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish, right? Except you repent, man. You're going to, uh, you are going to die, man. To the ones that have not repented and came back to obedience of Yahweh Shemoshah. You are going to die, man. According to the Bible, man. I'm not saying it. You know? First Peter 4 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the, of the Most High, you know? Begin in my sanctuary, right? What's the Lord's sanctuary? What's the house of the Most High? His people, the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. And also to the Israelite foreigners whose spirit goes back to Israelite, man. You know? Judgment gonna come first, especially to the ones that know they are Israelites, man. It's more than just knowing that you're Israelite, man. You got to walk in his ways. You got to please him. You got to obey him. What it say? Fear the most high and keep his commandments. But this is the whole duty of man. You got to serve him, man. It, hey, no one just have to battle, man. You can't just say, uh, Shalom Wong, you know, you're in the car, you see the prophets on the highway, you just honk the horn or something, man. You just say Shalom and keep going. No, man, you got you to gotta do the work. You got to do the work, man. It said, um, what's that, Philippians? Let, um, every man work out his own salvation with film children. You know? But, hey, the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And, and if it first began to us, what should the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? Right, the good news. Cause, because the good news is the kingdom of heaven is for you. That the Lord is coming back to save you. Salvation is for you. To the nation of Israel. You know? But guess what? Our people, what they say? They are wise to do evil. Our people don't want to do uh, righteousness, man. You know? But, hey, the time is coming. Hey, hey the judgment, judgment is going forth, man. A lot of death about to come, man. You know? You got Esau Edom passing out the, the, the stimmies. You got our people, um, what is that, gift destroy the heart. Our people talking about it's a pandemic, a pandemic now. You know? Our people is gone, man. But guess what? They, it, it's part of their lot. You know? It, you know? So, hey, that's pretty much it on that, man. You know? So, um, you know, I close on this. So, say Corinthians 5 and 10. It said, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, that everyone. It was 11. The point is 11. I, I continue reading. It said, That everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he had done, whether it be good or bad. You know, because the most high is balanced. You know? So, whether it's good or bad, knowing therefore, verse 11, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord 
We persuade men, right? If you don't get right, the Lord gonna kill your ass, man. You know, we telling our people to get right, man. The Lord in the time of Noah, man, the Lord wasn't playing, man. He only saved eight souls, eight people, man. In this time frame, the the one third in the elect, the hundred four thousand, man. Out of all these people, man. It's time. Hey, you want to be part of the elect number, man? You should be seeking, what does it say, seek them 10 times more? You know? Let's speak on myself first and foremost, man. I can do more. You know? It said, but it said, knowing therefore the table of the Lord, we persuade men, but we may manifest unto the most high, and I trust also I may manifest in your conscience, man. What it said, compare them, that my house may be filled in the God zone, man, by threats, man. You know? The Lord's coming back with fire, man. It said uh, in the book of Isaiah, the slain of the Lord should be many. From one end of the earth to the other, man. A lot of people is, is going to die, man. The second death is not, man. The Lord is upset. He said he's angry with the wicked every day. He will destroy the sinful kingdom. Amos 9 8. You know? So it's time to get right. You know? It's time to repent, man. Every day, man. Hey, grace is running out, man. You know? Grace is running out, man. You know? So with that, once again, once again, give our praises to you. How about Shema Shah, by Shem, Bukha, Kudash, the bonus to the apostles, and others, a great minister who teach over where, you know, Lord willing, you was edified, you know, Shalom.